Kevin, another one that we really had to battle for. How pleased are you at the end of that one? Yeah, we probably shouldn't have had to battle for it. Uh, made it hard work for ourselves. I just said to the players in there, they, they're trying to kill me off. Seems I'm 50 this year. I do want to reach 50. Um, but yeah, we we, um, we we were generally in control of the football match, um, especially when they went down to 10 men. Um, we, we just made it hard work for ourselves. But, you know, I'm, I'm delighted. Obviously, we won the football match. It's never easy. You know, they're a good side. Uh, they've got some good players. Um, so we knew it was going to be a test and a challenge today. And my message to them before the game was, can we start the game well? You know, we're, we're top of the form guy coming off the back of a, a win and a clean sheet. We need to take the game to Marine being the home side. And I thought we did that. And then, we, you know, we got our lead. And then we just stopped doing, you know, what got us the lead in terms of, you know, sometimes football can be very, very simple. And today was simple. The way we scored the goal by turning them, uh, we spoke about it this week. We spoke about it in the team talk. Sometimes it's simple, just turn them. And we got the goal and then we stopped doing it. And we played most of our game in the, in the first half after that in our own third, you know, um, just outside the 18 yard box. And that invites pressure. Um, so I was disappointed. Um, we had a good talk. Good chat at half time, and they come out second half. I thought we was a lot better. Um, we managed to get the goal, um, and then you know we just. I said to the players, when you play against ten men, you know the way to, to break them down is just keep the football, keep shifting it from side to side, make them work, and then when the opportunity comes, the gaps come, then you fire it through a line and hopefully you get an opportunity. But we just try to force it at times, shooting when we shouldn't have shot, hitting diags when they were probably weren't on. So we made it hard work, but. Ultimately, you know, we won the football match and we showed great characters again today in terms of our defending when they threw everything at us. Um, so, hard work, but delighted with three points. The first goal seems a long time ago now, but a lot of quality in that goal yeah. with the ball from Briggs and the finish from Jordy. Yeah, it, you know, sometimes it's simple. Um, we knew that they played a bit of a high line from the report, um, so we had to exploit that. And, you know, it's a great ball from Briggs, a great run from Jordy, and, and it's a fantastic finish. And it come at a time when we were on top, and you just thought, go on, kick on now, let's go and get a second. Um, but you know, it just, it just, we stopped doing what got us the lead. Um, so that's disappointing. It's something that we need to learn from. The players recognise that, um, but they have to recognise it out on the pitch. Um, just keep doing it, and you know that second goal will come. So you know, lots of lessons to be learned from today. You mentioned the lessons to be learned, but to win the game when you still learn those lessons, I guess is the real positive thing, isn't it? Yeah, of course. You know, it's we've got a lot of experience in that in that side, and you know, me and Wes can only do our coaching staff can only do what we can do from the touchline. But you know, the responsibility ultimately lies on the on the individuals on the pitch. The experience they have to manage the game and have to keep doing the right things, keep doing the same things. Don't stop doing it. You know, be relentless. Um, so. You know, I'd be, I'd be obviously bitterly disappointed if I was standing there having drawn that football match. Um, but you know, I think the chances we create throughout the match, if we're a bit more clinical, uh, take care of it more. The game, you know, we could have had the game sewn up. Um, but when it's always two-one, even against ten men, you know, you always run the risk of a, of a mistake, uh, a decision from the ref, a bit of quality from there. And they've got some decent players. Um, so you know, it's it's always a precarious result um, scoreline at two one, but the lads seen it out, and again they showed their, their battling qualities, defending qualities, their organisation, their ability to you know never give up. Um, so yeah, delighted. Mackenzie Heaney brought in at the start line today. Did, did, did he sort of vindicate your selection with with his performance there? Yeah, well, you know, man of the match. Um, that's nothing against Louis, who I th I, I really like as, as as you all know, uh, but I just felt you know having. I just felt it just needed a change up in that area. Um, I could have easily, you know, um, picked another two strikers to play in front of Jordi and Daz because uh, you know we haven't the strikers haven't scored uh, lately. So the challenge to them was I've stuck by you now. Go and reward me and reward yourselves. And they've both got themselves a goal today. Mackenzie's got man of the match. So ultimately, I'm pleased. But the biggest thing we have got competition in the squad, and you know Briggs is coming today who hasn't played since before Radcliffe game, I think Warrington away. Um, he's had to be patient, he's got his chance today in it and he played very well. So we've got great competition in the squad. Um, we've got some quality players and you know when they do get their opportunity it's about taking it. It's seven wins from nine games now you must be feeling in a very good place. Yeah of course. Um, but you know there's there's twenty games to go and I said to the players in there let's not get carried away. You know, um, I tend to not look at other results anywhere else uh, because it, 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 football has a bad habit of back, biting you in the backside but we're in a really good place, as you know, um, but we can still get better at what we do. Um, you know, we need to be relentless. 
on the training ground and when it's match day. And now we've got a run of fixtures coming up. We've got obviously a nice week's rest to recover. Um, and then we go to Guysley, then Matlock, and then FC United at home. So it's going to be a tough week with the travelling, the teams. Um, but, you know, if we show the characteristics in terms of defending today, take care a little bit more in the final third because we create chances, then, you know, we, we certainly could get some results in those three. Just fine looking ahead, the guys here, they cause us some problems here in the game early on in the season. I guess you're expecting a difficult t- challenge away at them. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's, um, you know, away matches are, are never easy. Um, but we've got to go there with a the belief that we can win the football match. And, and we will do that. But we can't be complacent. You know, we've got to go there with the attitude that they're a decent team. You know, they'll come at us. Every every team, as I always say, wants to be. Is they want to take points. So they want to be that first team to take points off us in this, in this winning run now. Um, so we, we will be prepared for it and we'll be ready for it and you know as I said we can tidy up in, in, in the final third and you know defend the way we have defended um, we certainly can get a result now.